My name is Mahmoud Abdurraouf. Rose to Mahmoud, another three. Got it again! Uh, what Bernie wanted was McDyce to come out and set a swing. Raul Perry off the glass, it goes. Abdurraouf for the runner. Raul. This is me. Everybody always talks about how basketball is 80% mental. Sometimes some people even say 90. But nobody really explains what that means exactly. But what does that mean to you? You know, I'm not, I'm not for sure what the percentages are, but uh, definitely the mental approach is, uh, you know, as they say in psychology, so as you think it, so should it be. Your thinking has a way of affecting or influencing your behavior. You, you definitely have to have uh, the right mindset when you're entering anything. And so, uh, you know, for me, that's always the first thing, making the decision that this is what you want to do. And so I always look back when I was eight, nine years old, and I decided to look, man, I want to be great at this. And so that did, that did what? It caused me to develop a strategy, a plan to see it through. And for me, my mind was always working as to who was doing what. You know, can you imagine as a nine-year-old, you're trying to work harder than anybody, but you don't know how they're working? You know, it's like, I don't know what this kid in Chicago, California, but I want to work harder than them. I want to work smarter than them. And so that influenced me to always be thinking ahead and devising a strategy, waking up at four o'clock in the morning, going out and pushing yourself, not putting yourself in a box, because so many of us, we put ourselves in a box. We'll go through, these are the fundamentals. You're taught to do a jab step this way, right? To shoot it this way. And at some point you, you, you begin to, again, think outside the box. Because your mind, this is the most powerful thing you have, your imagination. And sometimes we restrict ourselves. And so I was like, okay, these are the fundamentals, but the fundamentals are building blocks for you know, the, the advanced stuff. You have some people, they build houses and they build just the regular box houses. That's, that's what, they, they, they studied carpentry, they studied architecture. But you have some people building sky rises. You have some people becoming more innovative than what they're like, oh man, I didn't know you can do that, right? And so that's the way I wanted to be with basketball. I wanted to, like, look, man, there's, there's a whole lot of ways to execute this play. I don't always have to bring the ball here to bring it up and shoot it. I can bring it here and shoot it. I can bring it here and shoot it. I can fade this way, fade that way, lean. I can let it go here. And I'm constantly working on that over and over again. And so the mental, influences those type of decisions that you make as a basketball player. And then the, 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 the effort that you gotta put into it. You know, again, that mental is very key. And now, you, now you're like, hey man, the game of basketball is just not about catching and shooting, going through the motions. People gonna be guarding you, they are gonna be putting a body on you. You gotta have the stamina. You gotta be able to get your shot off. You gotta be strong. And so it's pushing yourself, man, beyond. Really, it's, it's like we talked about the other day. You, you, there's a difference in terms of just wanting to be mediocre and wanting to be great. And it's a decision uh, that you have to make. And to be great, I think, it's like I said the other day, yesterday. If you are training and you're not contemplating quitting in the, in the midst of you're not working hard enough, if you're not flirting with death, you're not working hard enough. I'm talking about, you know, can't, can't, can't catch your breath type of pushing yourself, you know, and legs shaking after you. I mean, you want to literally, man, I want to quit. I want to stop. You ain't working hard enough. I'm not saying you're not working, but you're not working hard enough.